We use Voice of Us, which we've created that for helping us to write, say, social media posts or blog posts or newsletters, all in a consistent tone of voice. So this one is asking, what platform are we writing for? Is it Instagram or LinkedIn? OK, so I'm going to say Instagram. Now it's going to say, right, what kind of length of caption are you looking for? And now it's going to ask me to upload a picture or describe the video that we're going to do. So I'm going to upload a photograph from my computer. Now I'm going to sit back and allow it to write me a caption that will work really well on Instagram. Now, the way we've trained this is such that it's written for a millennial audience. And there are certain uh, emojis we have told it not to include because it's a real giveaway that you're using ChatGPT. We've also trained it on the best practice number of characters for Instagram if you're doing long form, for example, or if you're doing short form. So ever wonder how we spend our time? I'm going to show you another example of this. I'm going to put up another photo of the wonderful Ellen Gunning. She's giving an amazing talk on uh, AI in 2030, what to expect. So write a short Instagram caption about Ellen Gunning coming to AI Evolved. OK, exciting news. Ellen Gunning will be at. Don't miss it. OK, make it a long form one. And it's going to do it. So it's just a really good way of building your own shorthand of the way we do things around here so that you don't have to keep on prompting. Now, if you want to spend lots of time prompting and prompting, by all means, you can do that. But really, the best way to do your work at pace and to save your prompts in a personalized prompt library is to set up a GPT.